everybody, so today I'm going to do a video all about my favorite highlighters. I recently did kind of picked up my collection favorites again. I will link my collection favorites playlist either in a little card up here or down below. Um, I did a collection favorites kind of series on my channel a while ago. Um, oh, there is a lipstick all over my teeth. Oh boy. Um, anyways, I did a collection favorites a while ago, and now I'm kind of picking it back up and doing it kind of by category. So I recently did my favorite nude lips and my favorite bold lips, and now I'm going to be doing highlights. So let me know what you want to see next after this video, whether it's palettes, I haven't done that in a really long time, palettes, bronzers and blushes, whatever y'all want to see. Um, yeah, just, just let me know. But today we're going to be talking about all my favorite highlights. I don't have a ton to talk about. Honestly, I really just picked like my, like I already knew which ones I was going to talk about. I already had them listed in my head and I just grabbed the ones. So like a lot of people, you know, I don't, I don't have a ton of makeup. Like I have a ton of makeup, but compared to other YouTubers, I don't have a ton of makeup. So I really kind of keep my staples, my staples and don't really deviate too far from them. So I feel like if you are a loyal subscriber, none of these should come as a surprise. In fact, comment down below. I know one of, I know the first one I'm going to talk about, all of you all can guess what it is because I've not stopped using it since I got it. But comment down below, pause the video, comment down below and let me know, like guess what one of my favorite highlighters is, or two, or five, five. Let's see who can guess the most, because that would be hilarious, because all of these are ones that I have used on my channel a lot. So, anyways, if you want to see all of my favorite cruelty-free highlights that are my favorite, my favorite cruelty-free highlights that are my favorite, then just keep on watching. And also, there is a tutorial for this look. If it isn't up, I will have it in a card right here, up here. Um, if it is not, then just make sure to hit the notifications button down below so that you're notified when I upload and you won't miss the tutorial. All right. YouTuber stuff out of the way. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this one to get it out of the way because I don't even need to talk about this one because, again, I have not stopped using it. I've had to force myself to use other highlights since I got this palette and it is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette. It, I feel like I don't need to talk about this, but this is like this shade is my favorite. It's so stunning, so reflective. I'm wearing it on my nose right now. I also love like these, I just kind of mix them. I love these pink shades. They're so reflective and gorgeous. They're so metallic, like stunning. This thing is like, I think like $8 or something like that. How many times can I say like? Um, you just, you just absolutely need it if you're into a very high shine, you're into a very high shine highlight without any of the glitter. None of these that I'm going to talk about are glittery. So if you are, I don't necessarily mind glittery highlights, but I do prefer them more reflective, more wet looking. And this highlighting palette will give you a wet looking highlight. Also, I'm sick, so if I sound stuff stuffed up, it's because I am. So, uh, anyways, let's move on to some other ones so that we can just, you know, you already know that one. The next is another highlighting palette I really want to talk about, and I feel like this got kind of swept under the rug. Makeup Geek released highlights, and they really didn't get talked about at all. Makeup Geek, in general, hasn't really been talked about much lately. I feel like their releases have just been kind of lackluster, but I thought this one was so fantastic, and this is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Highlighting Palette. I love this thing, and I think if you're going to pick up some Makeup Geek highlights, I would just get this one because you basically get three full-size highlights for the price of two because I think they're $20 a piece. I really only use these two, which is Sunlight and Starlight right here um, because this one is too deep for me, but these are so gorgeous so stunning and I like it because you have like a pink and a gold you know that's that's kind of the staples right you have like one warm one cool I love these they are so metallic and reflective and just give you a beautiful highlight there's that gold it's so pretty but it's still like pale skin friendly which I really like sometimes like a true gold highlight just you know looks crazy on super pale skin but this one is still really really again pale skin friendly and then this pink shade pink toned highlights are probably my favorite 
it's so stunning and especially if you're very very fair this could be an amazing blush topper and I just I love how reflective and stunning these are and again I just I think it didn't get enough love and this is honestly one that I reach for a lot like I well I used to before the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette took over my entire life before that happened I used to reach for this a lot and I really really do love it uh, uh, I need to blow my nose but I can't blow my nose because you know you know the struggle. The next couple I want to talk about are from Milani. Now, I haven't, these are the only two colors that I've tried, but I'm really pick, glad I picked up these colors. You'll notice I have a theme. I like gold toned highlights and I like pink toned highlights. So, again, I have a more gold and a more pink to talk about. These are the, what are these called? The Milani Strobe Light Instant, <laughs> Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. The first shade that I have is called Afterglow, and this one is a more pink toned, but it's a lot more fair and a lot more kind of champagne silvery than a couple of the other pink toned highlights that I have mentioned thus far. And then this one is in the shade Sun Glow. And again, this one is more gold. I like these because they don't have a ton of, there's the gold. This one I especially love when I have a little bit of a fake tan because it just pops off my skin so amazingly. So if you have a warm, like, tan undertone to your skin, this would be so, so pretty. Um, I can still wear it when I'm pale, too, but it just really pops off of tan skin. Um, I like these because there's, like, it's a very almost, I don't want to say hard, but hard formula. Like, it's a very stiff formula, so there's really, like, not a lot of kick up. I mean, you can, like, get into this thing and you won't really get too much. Ugh, I just, I love these. They're, like, $8.99, which isn't, you know, it's like L'Oreal prices where it's, it's not, it is affordable, but it's still kind of on the expensive end of affordable, if that makes sense. I was able to get these buy one, get one half off, so I'm, heck yeah, Fred Meyer deals. Um, so yeah, I love these and I think they're an awesome, affordable drugstore option. Let's just go ahead and talk about the other drugstore, because I have a couple affordable options, but I do have a couple that are straight up drugstore. The next, I feel like, is in a lot of people's, like, um, a lot of people's highlighting favorites, and this is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Box thing. Uh, shimmer Strips? I think these are called Shimmer Strips in in natural nude. These are so pretty and so finely milled, like so good. Um, I love them because you can kind of like mix it all together for, you know, a mixed together glow. You can just kind of take from the light spot or just kind of take from the dark spot, like really wherever you want. And or there's like this pink one in here that's really pretty. Like you can really customize your shade of highlight in this and they are all I mean look how reflective and they're so buttery smooth these don't emphasize texture they're really 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 nice and I love that you can kind of cater to whatever you know like especially if you like if you tan you can kind of cater your highlight to you know whatever kind of glow you want to go for I think this is like $12.99. Physicians Formula is more expensive when it comes to the drugstore, but I've had this for like years and I've barely made a dent in it. And so like, you know, obviously highlights, you have to really go in on a highlight for you to go through it. But this one I've used a lot and I've barely made a dent into it. So just, if you can look for coupons at like Rite Aid or Walgreens, they pretty much always have coupons. So just use a coupon, pick up that shimmer strips. It is fantastic. Okay. Let's talk about some more, I have one more drugstore, a couple more affordable, then one high-end highlight to talk about, and that's it. That's all I have. Anyways, so the next one I have to talk about is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in the shade Be My Highlight. I don't think there's any other highlights. I love this highlight because it is so lit from within natural glow. I have a feeling these are this one is similar to like the hourglass ambient lighting powders I've never tried one because your girl is not that bougie um, but it gives you such a gorgeous soft again just kind of lit from within glow as you can see it's still like 
reflective like you still have highlight on for sure but it, I love this highlight for like no makeup makeup days or minimal makeup days or days where I don't want like a beaming highlight I just want something to make my skin look a little bit more skin like I love this highlight this thing is like $3.99 it's a really really nice formula look how pretty it is the one thing I will say is that if you are much more if you're paler than me this might not work for you um, because it does have a kind of beige undertone and I do notice that like when I'm very pale um, you can kind of see it wherever I place it in certain lighting so that kind of sucks but it is stunning it's like three dollars and just look how it's it's stunning and so reflective but again in a very natural lit from within very bridal it's a very bridal glow it's stunning okay and then I have two ColourPop highlights to talk about these super shock cheek highlights I am NOT a big fan of their pressed highlighting powders I liked the shade here kitty kitty but it was just like I like other highlights better and I honestly prefer this formula when it comes to ColourPop highlights so I have two to talk about the first is the one that I am wearing on my cheeks right now and it is so pretty and this is in the shade wisp these are just such unique shades I love this one because it's like a gold but has like kind of a peachy pink kind of flip to it it's so 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 pretty this one again um, I do have to wear like with foundation and bronzer and stuff um, this isn't the most again pale pale skin friendly but look Look how pretty it is I can still like get away with it have to add butterfly beach I love butterfly beach so much again this one is more of a blush topper for me um, or when I have a lot of fake tan on I can wear it as a highlight but this one is butterfly beach again this one is wisp and butterfly beach is just such a stunning rosy highlight I absolutely love it it just makes your skin look like flushed and glowy and delicious I love these two highlights and then the last one that I have to talk about is lunch money which I feel like is a very very popular there are hairs in this one that is gross it's probably just, you know it's just my hair but whatever um this one is the uh, oh my gosh excuse me this one is lunch money right here this one almost reminds me it actually reminds me a lot of the essence highlight that I just talked about where it's very kind of lit with lit from within it's almost just kind of like a champagne highlight like very very slightly gold but again more on the champagne side it is so so pretty and I find a lot of people get confused about how to use these I can use these with my finger I also just love using a synthetic brush like today I used the Delium tools or the Moda M12 highlight and glow brush any synthetic brush I just like I just apply it like a regular highlight with a synthetic brush and it works beautifully or you can apply it with your fingers I just don't like applying highlights with my fingers and I find that the brush does the trick so if you haven't tried ColourPop highlights definitely recommend them I absolutely love them and those are three shades that like I've had for a really really long time and are just staples in my makeup world okay the next one that I have to talk about has been a favorite for so long and is the Ofra and dupe that highlight in you glow girl I also love you do you you do you is a beautiful gold shade with kind of a peach flip it's stunning but um mine shattered and I need to rebuy it um, I actually it was given to me by vegan beauty addict hey girl love you um, and I forgot what happened but it it shattered I think I was traveling and it shattered and I tried to fix it and then it shattered again it was really really sad but I still have you glow girl except for the pan I need to glue back into the component but this is hands down this was actually I did the like when Jaclyn Hill did like the ride or die tag when I filmed that I put this as my ride or die highlight like this is no joke I love this highlight so much I would say pink highlights are probably my favorite I do love myself a good gold highlight but I don't know there's something about pink highlights that I just like mm, I love them so much and this is like my ideal pink highlight it is so stunning and reflective like just hey L you guys just slay my entire existence and I love you so much for creating this because this is 
stunning like absolutely it's very icy but not too icy it's just a nice icy almost like lavender -y. oh my god it's so pretty again this was put in my ride or die tag is my ride or die highlight I can we just I just want to put I just want to put a little bit on like just add oh <sighs> like you guys saw Ooh. you guys saw that difference right like this is the most stunning highlight ever. I love it so much. I hope it's still available on Ofra's website because I want to buy like eight of them. This just like rekindled my love for this highlight because again, I've been using the BH Cosmetics palette so often that I've kind of neglected other highlights, but like the proof is in the pudding. Last highlight I have to talk about is pretty much my only expensive highlight. I, you know, baller on a budget, you guys know me, I always will try to find cheaper options before spending the money on the expensive options, but this one had so much hype around it, and I love Jaclyn Hill, so I, I had to pick it up, and it is Champagne Pop. Now, I will say that this pops a lot more on my skin when I am fake tan, but this highlight when I am just my normal skin tone, um, I love for again more subtle but still beautiful again more that kind of bridal natural lit from within glow this one is definitely still incredibly reflective um it's a beautiful i mean y'all know what champagne pop looks like you know you know this one is just so unique because it's very almost orangey like it almost has like a sunset orange yellowy undertone that that especially like swatching now that I've like swatched all my favorite gold highlights like this one is very very unique and like I said it pops a lot more on my skin when I'm just a little bit more tan but even when I'm not I love it just for every day just for what I want just to have a beautiful glow to my skin but not like blind people like how I am right now so champagne pop I definitely like I've made a decent divot in this thing um, definitely think it's worth the hype definitely think Jaclyn made such an amazing, beautiful, stunning, unique shade that I think a lot of people can rock and I absolutely love. Alright everybody, and that's it. That's it. That's it. I only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like ten highlights. I feel like that's not very many. I honestly surprised myself with how little I picked out of my highlighting drawer, but I didn't want to fill this video with a ton of highlights that I don't actually actually love like there's a lot of highlights in my drawer that I like but these are my ride or die if I could only use a couple highlights they would definitely come from these 10 or so right here I love them so 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 much if there's a highlight you think that I need that I did not mention here comment down below and let me know your favorite highlights and let me know if you got any right because that would be hilarious I always love interacting with you guys in the comments, so please comment down below and just chat it up with me. Alright, you all, I love you so, so, so much. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more collection favorites videos like these. Again, the tutorial for this look will either be up soon or is up already and will be in the description box. I love you all so, so, so much, like I said before, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!